All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to the kitchen and welcome back to Giant Foods. As always, it's long overdue. Uh, I really need to get more of a consistency with the Giant Foods because I know you guys love Giant Foods as much as I love creating them and eating them. Today I got a pizza burger. Now I know you're thinking, well, that's nothing special. It's just a pizza topped burger. Um, no, it's not just pizza toppings on a burger. I'm actually putting little mini pizzas on my burgers. Stack burgers, pizza, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let's put this thing together. So with all things Giant Foods related, to start out as a sandwich, starts out with the King's Hawaiian Roll. Now, got five pounds of beef over there. And when I said, I was going to top these things with pizzas. This is what I meant. I know you're thinking, I can't believe you're not going to make the pizzas. Listen, cut me a break. I work all day long. We're going microwavable, but, but, we're going to do them in the oven. We're going to do them in the oven. We got some pepperoni ones. We got some cheese ones. So those are going in. Those take 18 minutes. So we're going to prepare the beef. All right, Mr. Cool. So we got our beef here. We got the five pounds of the good stuff, the 73% beef, and uh, we're going to make this thing into three patties. So we're going to split this thing down, look at that, get this thing broke into threes, and put this in there. Now, Got the salt, pepper, garlic, because everybody always says, oh, you never season your meat. Okay, well, there you go. You got it now, right? <coughs> this stuff will take your breath away, just so you know. It does. If you're looking for this, <coughs> if you're looking for that stuff, get it at Royal King. <coughs> wow. <coughs> I'm gonna try to make these, I'm gonna try to make these patties. I'm dying here with that stuff. I'm gonna make these patties so it fits on the bun. And then it cooks relatively pretty quick. So I'm gonna make them thinner. Voila. Oh yeah. It's powerful, dude. It's a pretty big bag. All right, Mr. Bull, we're going to drain some of it off. And kind of grease down a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Get this one down in the can, that's the problem. Oh. I could done these on the flat top, but the problem is, I don't want to have to get my grill all torn apart. Man. You might want to drink some of that. Mm. You got two, Mr. Pool. Um, that one, that stainless pan, I'm afraid it would stick to it. Yeah, fair enough. It has a tendency to, uh, it has a tendency to stick. So, we got our pizzas in the oven, they're cooked. We got our uh, big old bag of mozzarella here. We got our patties, cooked thoroughly. Um, obviously, got some pepperoni to uh, top these burgers with. Two packages of that. And what I'm gonna do is open up each one of these as they're finishing the last leg of their cook. We're going to go ahead and ladle on some salad. 
we're going to give them a healthy dose of cheese, obviously. And then we're going to top these puppies. Some room. Like that. We're going to uh, lit them up like that, Mr. Pool. And we're going to jump over to the oven. I'm going to ladle on some Generous. I think that was generous on mozzarella. Just like that, Mr. Pool. Got the staple of all giant foods. We got the King's Hawaiian. And we're down. There's our foundation, light and fluffy. Every time I see one of these, I just wanna like, take a nap. All right, we got our foundation down though. We're gonna start putting together this monstrosity. We're gonna bring out our cheese pizzas. We're gonna bring out our pepperonis. We got it all in order. We got our burgers over here cooked up. We're gonna drop those off. Now, let's lay down our foundation. We got a uh, cheese pizza. That's almost the right size. Almost, right? yeah. I mean, hey, for shooting from the hip, trying to figure out what was gonna work, we did all right. I think so. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ladle on a little extra sauce. You know what I'm saying? Just a little extra. Just to give her a little something something, you know what I'm saying. And wait do you see this thing. Where do you see the deliciousness coming your way, Mr. Cool? Look at this thing. Look at it. Are you looking at it? Look at how delicious that looks. You can't even tell me. You can't deny how good that looks. I'd probably eat a burger. Oh, look, look at that. that. Look at it. Come in with a pepperoni. And then we're gonna come in with another burger daddy. Whoops. Almost, huh? We went cheese. I'm gonna layer in some sauce and some more pepperoni. Layer in some sauce in here, a little bit of sauce on this cheese piece. Dude, these things are like melty, cheesy goodness. You know what you need? Some of those dollar. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips there, Mr. Poole and myself went ahead and put together this jimongous pizza burger. With six pizzas, five pounds of beef, cheese, sauce, and pepperoni. And a huge one pound bun. And it keeps falling down on me. So uh, we're not gonna delay. We're just gonna eat some of this deliciousness. Look at how good it looks. It's like an avalanche of deliciousness. That's what Mr. Poole called it. All right, Let's get so like it. I said, five pounds of beef, Six complete mini pizzas, pepperoni and cheese, a one pound bun, 
some cheese, more sauce, and pepperoni. The biggest pizza burger I have ever seen. It's like a, a avalanche of deliciousness. Quote, unquote, Mr. Pool. So without further ado, let's get into this beast. Three, two, one. Pizza burger. This thing is just delicious looking. I don't even, uh... There's no way I can actually pick it up. Um, what I will do is give you a cross section of that. You can see that beef. I tried to cook it rare, but uh, it's it's about out there, about buck sixty. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I couldn't tell you the last time I actually had a pizza burger. It's been a long time. Mm, that's soft. I got a little bit of sauce left in that jar. I'm going to uh, use it to dip. Use it to uh, saucify this uh, beef here a little bit. Saucify. Mm, that's good. I got a pepperoni pizza here. I'm gonna uh, put it in this top bun and make like a pizza taco. Mmm. I might be onto something there, Mr. Pool. Thanks, so. Mm-hmm. Pizza taco. It's kind of like a Philly taco, though. <clears throat> Pizza wrapped around a cheese stick. This is delicious. I should make a three-foot cheese stick and wrap it in a big pizza. Two minutes in. His whole own limited edition giant food jack. So, look at that cheesy goodness. There's a no lack of cheese in this thing. I wonder about the calories in this thing. Each one of those pizzas had 500 in it. So that's 3,000 calories in pizza. And then beef is 100 calories per 3 ounces. That's 5 pounds. Wonder where to get Del Grosso sauce at. I, uh, we actually live like 40 minutes from where Del Grosso's is produced. In Tipton, Pennsylvania. Man, dude, this thing is so good. This is rather enjoyable. It's no uh, comparison to eating uh, 107. Kit Kat bars. Or 105 or whatever it was.
You wouldn't like it. Landslide is delicious, so I think that should be a patent pending. Patent <coughs> pending. Via Mr. Boo. Yep. Beef patty is like molten lava. Molten lava. Bottom patty still like the lava. Anderson, come on. Tantalizing in him. Looks like doing it. <sighs> Can you top me off a beverage or Mr. Pool? Sure. I'm almost down to the last bottom of this thing. Never wondered the question just if it tastes good, is it easier to eat? Absolutely. Nobody ever sat down and said, Oh, I can't wait to eat. Oh.
Do you think it's warm in here or something? Mm -hmm. That last bag was like mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Last burger probably was like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's probably close to 160. Probably buck 60. It's very consistent. Wow. Oh. <coughs> I love. I think my batteries are dying. <coughs> I don't know, 1750 maybe? Yeah. Right. Regular clan, so that was the uh, world's biggest pizza burger. Six pizzas, five pounds of beef, a bun, cheese, sauce, pepperoni. Like always, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. If you enjoyed this Giant Foods episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free. And uh, in this day and age, who doesn't like free things? So uh, subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends. Like the video. It helps me out tremendously. And until next time, take it easy.